How to convert Thunderbird to PST Try Systool's Thunderbird to PST converter software. Let's discuss key features. Multiple format options. It converts Thunderbird emails to PST, EML, PDF and other formats while keeping all details and attachments. No extra software needed. It works without requiring Thunderbird or Outlook installed and supports offline files. Easy and flexible. Let's you preview emails, choose specific ones to convert, and split large mailboxes into smaller files. Works on all systems. It is available for Windows and Mac and compatible with Outlook 2010 to 2021. To download the software, open Google and search for Systool's Thunderbird to PST converter software. Now click on the first link. Then click on the download button. Once downloaded, simply install the software on your system. This is the interface of the Systools Thunderbird to PST converter software. To get started, click the Add File button on the top left to add your Thunderbird files. This software supports various formats including MBOX files, Mozilla Thunderbird, Entourage, Eudora, Netscape Mail, Poco Mail, SeaMonkey, and Spicebird Mail. Now, we are going to select Mozilla Thunderbird to import Thunderbird files. Users can choose different options if needed. In the default profile configured option, the software automatically detects your Thunderbird default location. After selecting this option, you can easily choose the account whose data you want to convert to PST. In the Select Files folder from File System option, users can manually locate the path to the Thunderbird file. Let's proceed with the default profile configured option. Now click Next. In the Select Profile Identities section, users need to select their profile. Then, in the Select Email Account option, select the account that contains the Thunderbird files. Note, make sure to choose the correct profile that contains the desired account. Different profile sections may display other accounts. By selecting, Convert all email accounts, it will include all accounts linked to the chosen profile. Once the account is selected, click Process to continue. On the left side, you'll see the MBOX folder listed. At the top, additional features have appeared. Let's take a look at them first. Close file. This closes the current file so you can import a new one. Export. This exports all your Thunderbird emails to PST format at once. Buy. Click here to purchase the software's license key. Exit. This option closes the software entirely. Now, let's proceed by clicking on the Thunderbird folders. Clicking on the Thunderbird folder will display all your Thunderbird data on the right side in a user-friendly format. Here, you can view the emails of the Thunderbird file. These columns display the sender's name, subject, and other email header details. In the Normal Mail View panel, you can view the email headers, including the sender's name, subject, and more. The Hex View panel shows the raw binary content of a file or memory location in a human-readable format. In the Properties view, you can see detailed email header properties. The Message Header view provides additional email headers. MIME View, the multipurpose internet mail extensions, shows details about the file format, such as whether it's an image, document, video, or audio file, based on its MIME type. The Email Hop View reveals the complete path the email took from the sender to the recipient, showing each hop or server it passed through. The HTML View displays the email content in hypertext markup language, while the RTF view displays it in rich text format. In the Attachment panel, you can see attached files, such as images, documents, or PDFs. You can also identify emails with attachments by the icon next to the sender's email address. Now let's click on Normal Mail View panel to check the body content of the email. At the top, 
There's a switch view option that lets you choose between horizontal and vertical views. Let's switch to vertical view. Now you can see the layout in vertical format. Let's continue and export these Thunderbird emails to PST. On the top right, there is an Export Selected button. This option allows users to select specific emails and export them to PST format. There's also one more export option on the left that exports all emails to PST in one go. Let's use the Export Selected option. First, select the emails you want to export or click the top checkbox to select all emails at once, then click Export Selected. The SysTools Thunderbird to PST Converter software also allows exporting in other formats like PDF, MSG, EML, EMLX, HTML, NSF, and CSV. For this tutorial, we'll choose PST. Users can choose different options if needed. Next, you can choose the destination path for the exported file. The default location is set to the desktop, but you can change this by clicking the Browse button. There's also an option called Maintain Folder Hierarchy, which ensures that the folder structure is kept intact during the export. Let's also explore the additional settings. In the PST settings, the first option is PST Split option. This allows users to adjust the size of their PST file, and it will split the file once it reaches that size. Otherwise, only one PST file will be created. Simply enter the size in numbers and choose between MB or GB. The next option is Mail Status Filter. If you choose Export Read Emails, only read emails will be exported. If Export Unread Emails is selected, only unread emails will be exported. Selecting Export Both Emails will export both read and unread emails. Note, this option is applicable only for Thunderbird, Netscape Mail, SeaMonkey, and Spicebird Mail clients. In the Date Filter option, users can select a date range from the start date to the end date. This will export data only within that range. We'll also turn off this for now and return to the Export options. Users can use these filters if needed. Let's cancel this and return to the Export options. Now that all the settings are adjusted, click on Export. Once the conversion is complete, a message will appear saying the export was successful. Click on OK. The first option says, Exported files are saved at the given location, showing the path to the exported file. You can redirect to the exported file location by clicking the Open Location button. The second option indicates that a detailed report is created. You can simply click on the Show Report button to view the full export report. Now, let's navigate to the exported folder location by clicking the Open Location button. Open the folder, and here is your converted PST file. And that's how you can convert Thunderbird to PST using the SysTools Thunderbird to PST converter software. Log on to the given product page for more detail in purchasing the product. For any queries mail us to support at SysToolsGroup.com. Thank you for watching.